Hi, there are a couple of issues I'd like to address in a short video here. Annotation prefixes, prefixes, uh, the flow to capacity ratio, and negative capacities. So to address these, I'm going to quickly draw a very basic network. Of course, this is a top view. Just uh, to help me keep straight in my mind, though, I've drawn these ones higher than the others because I intend the flow to be going towards the outlet. So let me put some elevation information in at the uh, catch basins. I'll say that the uh, invert elevation is 100, 99, 98, and then I have to give an elevation to the outfall, um, 96. Okay. With those elevations now, pipe slopes are defined. Um, in the catch basin table, let me just quickly put in some uh, some areas and uh, concentrate time of concent um, time of concentration. So let's just say, just so that we get some values here, all right, and some additional flow. This is the sewage that would be in the pipe. Maybe I just from my external calculations, I know how much is going to be in there from that. Uh, I'm not sure whether this already has a uh, storm event specified. Okay, I need to define a quick um, IDF curve. So, I don't know that whether that's a reasonable IDF curve, but it gives me some data that it can uh, compute against, and now I'm able to um, pick a storm. All right, so if I have it execute the model, <coughs> I go into the uh, pipe network. You can see that it's calculating the uh, capacity of the pipe, full flow capacity. So that's how much can actually go through the pipe, and um, uh, I don't know that it's actually calculated how much it is going through the pipe yet. Um, let's close that again. All right, it, it's not going to let me execute the model until I put some rim elevations in for the uh, catch basins. Alright, it's anxious about that. It's fine. We'll define it real quick. Let's see if now it'll run the model. Alright. The arrows indicate the flow direction. It gets that not based on elevations, but it gets that based on the fact that flow goes towards an outfall it will still keep that same direction even if the pipe elevations are such that you know like if the water was if the elevations were that uh, one is lower than two it's still gonna have that arrow there because it knows that it has to flow towards the outfall it's just that it would give me a negative capacity rather than pulling up the pipe table and constantly having to look for each pipe comparing the uh, the capacity to what the flow is and so, um, you know, you look at the total flow, you look at the um, capacity. So if the flow is bigger than the capacity, then that tells you the pipe fails. Well, one of the nice um, columns that you can add is the uh, flow to capacity. So if you look under F, I've already added it. So here it is, flow to capacity full. It, in yours by default it won't be added over to the list that we show so flow to capacity full add that okay and this is a ratio it tells you what percent full it is so right now it's 333 percent over capacity in that first pipe I haven't changed any elevations to it yet first by the way so let's just say uh, let's add some annotations here <coughs> you can uh, add the Um, flow to capacity ratio, uh, not design, full. They're the same, doesn't matter. 
And here's a nice thing. Um, I'm going to put a prefix on here because sometimes when you annotate a map, it'll give you the units, but you don't really know what it is. So you can type this in, and then it will provide that before it. I'm going to turn off these labels and the uh, catch basin labels. So you see how it says flow to capacity equals 335.4. That's pretty nice. Uh, we could annotate also just the uh, flow rate itself. Um, capacity. I also want to have the um, annotation of the flow. Downstream conduit isn't the flow that I was looking for. Well, we'll forget about that one. All right. Um, some of you have noticed negative capacities, and you get a negative capacity when the elevation of what it knows is an upstream node because upstream goes to downstream based on the relationship of where the outfall is. If you change the elevation of the uh, um, of what it knows is an upstream node to be lower than a downstream node, that's when it will start reporting a uh, negative capacity. I think I turned off the wrong one over here. Yeah. Okay, so look what happens if I move the invert to 98.5. So that's going to be below Catch Basin 2, close that, re-execute the model, and now I'm see it's saying a negative capacity. That negative capacity is just because the invert is lower than the downstream invert. And you can see that the ratio is smaller now. So this pipe is badly failed. You know, it, there's way too much flow going through it. The, uh, the pipe is full. It's going to be backing up into basements or uh, discharging into the street, coming up out of uh, street level catch basins. Um, <clears throat> if you have a negative capacity, what you have to ask yourself, that, that can have three implications. Is it because you simply just type the elevation data into, the, into Stormcad wrong? You may need to double check that if you've got a negative capacity. Or is it because out in the field it's not an adverse slope, but for some reason the GIS data says it is. It could be an error in the data. Or third possibility is that actually, yes, the data is correct, you typed it in correctly, it's just that out there in the field that pipe has an adverse slope, meaning that the pipe, um, the, the way the water is supposed to be going, it's actually going to have to be flowing uphill. So uh, if you think that it is not that you typed it in wrong, if you think that the network data actually says the pipe has an adverse slope, then let's go ahead and check with Huntington Sanitary Board and find out if there are pipes out there that have an adverse slope. So just in conclusion, um, in, order to, in addition to addressing the issue of negative capacities, what I wanted to show you is that you can add uh, prefix labels to these annotations to help you keep straight what different things are, and then also the usefulness of this flow to capacity ratio to be able to see each pipe individually, how it's performing under certain conditions.